welcome back to another video and as you can probably see from this title i am starting this vlog today in the hope that this is going to be the start of our pregnancy journey which honestly it just blows my mind like we have waited for this day for what feels like forever um so just a little bit of context our plan was kind of to get married in june and then wait to the start of the following year to start trying for a baby because I feel like life is like so short and I'm 30 now and I always said that I would be 25 kids married and yeah life just doesn't obviously work out like that way and we decided to wait till now just to enjoy married life have six months being married and enjoy each other because once there's a baby there that's my Alexa going off Alexa stop I just set a timer for my lunch um yeah once there's a baby there's no going back so yeah that's what we've done we've really enjoyed the last six months of married life and what we will hopefully enjoy of this year until we have a child um but yeah it's currently January and I'm ovulating right now so this week is the week um and I just kind of wanted to go through with you like kind of what I've done in preparation for this um because yeah like I said we have obviously planned this this has been on our plans for a while now so I wanted to get yeah, to go through kind of what I've done um in terms of like preparation and stuff um in order to hopefully conceive I'll talk about what I've kind of done in preparation for this so lucky for me my sister has just had a baby so I can kind of use her I've been using her as like a little bit of a guinea pig um and the first thing that she said to do is get some folic acid like vitamin gummies so they do say to take if you're obviously like planning to have a pregnancy um take 400 milligrams i think it is of uh folic acid so i've been taking that in a form of a gummy um i've been taking that for about a month and a half now um just in preparation because i think it helps with tube defects and things like that so yeah obviously if you fall pregnant and you're not taking that obviously it's fine they just say to take it for like the first 12 weeks of your pregnancy so yeah i've been taking that and it's been really cute because jamie gets up before me and he usually leaves while i'm still doing my workout and he'll always leave like my little pregnancy gummies um on the side for me to take every morning um so yeah that's been really really cute i've been taking you can see i've only got a couple left i need to actually order another pack um the mamma mio pregnancy gummies I got these from Look Fantastic. So yeah, I really, really like them. They taste great. They're a great little sweet treat first thing in the morning. So those are the ones that I have been using. I also came off the implant around, well, it was just before we moved to Southampton, I think. So probably like three or four years ago. And this is one thing that I would say because you do not know how long your body is gonna take to kind of go back to a normal period luckily for me i went back to a normal period on month two after having my implant out but i do know people that it's taken about a year um even longer for your cycle to be kind of like regulated but for me i was really lucky so i've literally for the last like probably six or seven months i've really been tracking my ovulation i use the flow app and i find it really really good for tracking like before I was trying to get pregnant, I had it on the setting just to track my period and that's what I would use. Um, and it tells you kind of like your period window and then when your ovulating window is. So what I have been doing is as soon as I finish a period, I will start using um, the clear blue ovulation sticks. So I do this straight from my period, even though I know I'm not gonna get a smiley face straight away, just to kind of get a bit in tune with my body. Clear blue app, they give you kind of like a two day window. So for example, I took this yesterday and I got a full smiley face, which means that I'm like at peak fertility, which is very exciting. So yeah, this will, this was obviously on yesterday and then the smiley face kind of lasts for two days. And then what I have also been doing is because once you do the um, clear blue test, the smiley face kind of lasts for two days. I also use these little sticks here. God, I nearly grabbed the end of that weed on then. That would have been a bit gross. You can obviously do these um before as well i know people kind of have like a notebook and kind of 
see the differences between the different lines so basically this line here i think the changes like it can be like fainter and then when it's strong that's like when your peak time is basically so that's kind of the update for now and i wanted to start it now because this is the start of our journey and yeah i kind of wanted to talk you through what i've been doing to prepare myself um in terms of like exercise and stuff i've tried to do keep myself fit eat really healthy food foods and just have a really healthy outlook so that's what my january has been like and hopefully in the next two three weeks we will find out and like i said i'm really really open-minded um really relaxed about it it was easy to just do the deed once and then you're pregnant um but we shall see and i'm really excited to bring you guys along with me hi guys sat in the same spot again but i thought i would do another little update so i am currently oh my god i can't get my phone out of my pocket six days post ovulation i believe let me just check my flow up Go, like talk through some of the symptoms i cannot express how hard like this time actually is like i thought i'll be able to forget about it like it'll be fine oh my god i'm literally googling which i know is really bad every single symptom that i have and one thing that i have is a cold and i haven't had a cold for so long so whether i was due one or not i don't know but i'm gonna sneeze anyway this came two days ago so either four five four or five days post ovulation depending on when i was actually ovulated and obviously i googled it and i googled cold early signs of pregnancy and there was a girl that did a blog post and said that she had a cold and was like really sneezy and sniffly a week before her period was due and obviously that is the same for me so who knows it could be a symptom i could just have a cold um but it could mean that i am also pregnant um one other symptom that i had is i've had really i had really like pelvic pain and cramps again on day five um so yeah we shall see it's so hard not to just do a pregnancy test but obviously you're not supposed to it's it is supposedly way too early um so you could obviously get a false result sorry i cut off there but um yeah i'm still in the window of implantation it's really really difficult because like a few days ago i was like i'm definitely pregnant and like now i'm like oh i don't know <laughs> obviously you just never know um, we shall see i'm being optimistic being positive drinking loads of water eating healthy i didn't work out this morning just because i felt rubbish because of this cold but i've been trying to do some pilates so i might actually do um a little pilates workout this evening um i've got ralphie on me here always by my side he's not been very well so i'm trying not to be stressed out about that i was going to take him to the vets today but he seems like he's perked up a bit today um so i'm going to see how he is and if not i'll take him to the vets tomorrow um i think he's i don't know i think he's just got a bit of a funny tummy i don't think it's vet vet, vet worthy just yet um but yeah that's my update I'm guys i feel like this is like my little update spot in terms for this video um so i can't remember the last time that i spoke to you i think the last time i spoke to you was when i was doing a really really early test and it was negative and then i was heading to my sisters in manchester um 
for like the rest of the week so i was there for like five days and i was due on my period on the saturday i think or the sunday I, no it was the saturday i was due on my period um and i think i said to you like that first week i had loads of symptoms and i was like had that random cold i was like leaning more towards like am i pregnant um and i obviously did the test and it was negative so i was like okay maybe like i'm not like or maybe it's too early um so then i went out to my sisters and on that thursday and friday i had like i was like i'm coming on my period like i just knew like my body was just like just the way that my body felt i know it can be similar but i was just like no i'm definitely coming on my period like i can just feel it so i went to get another test with my um sister because I was, again i was like i'd rather see a negative first than come on my period um so i did a test i actually didn't film it because i didn't have my camera with me um so yeah i was like oh i hope it's not positive like because i'm not filming my reaction but it wasn't it was negative so i was like oh like that's okay and then that evening i came on my period um and i can't really like i think because i wasn't at home i was kind of feel like oh, i just gotta get on with things like it is what it is like we'll try again next month like it's only the first month we're trying um but like the hardest thing was that jamie was still in southampton and he wasn't coming up to manchester till the following day so i was gonna obviously have to i didn't want to I was obviously having, I wanted to obviously tell him in person that I come over here, but I would just have to do it over FaceTime because, and I kind of had said to him that morning that, like, I felt like I'm coming on my period. Like, I just kind of knew it, like, my body knew. Um, so that was all fine. And I had the distraction of my gorgeous little niece, which honestly helped more than you could ever imagine. Like, I just didn't even think about it. Like, it, I didn't really get upset. I didn't, I don't know. I just, I don't know if it was because it was the first month as well. And I, because I have my niece there, like, she really feels, like, that void of us wanting to have a baby at the moment. Which, it really, really helps. Um, so, yeah. So, that was that. And I have just had, um, so then we're like, right, we'll go again, like, next month. Like, just being really positive and trying not to stress about it. Um, and going again. So, that's where we are now. So, I've literally just had a my fertile window um basically so um yeah so i've just had my like ovulation six day window whatever it is um i did it slightly different this time i used both the clear blue ones and the strips like from the get-go and twice a day before i was doing it once a day into this time i did it twice a day and what i found is that my um thingies were changing in the afternoon and obviously I, before i was testing them in the morning and obviously it was like so so basically in january that window my clear blue ovulation thing went from a blank smiley face straight to a solid smiley face and i was like that's really really strange like i'm not getting that like in between like flashy face i didn't know if it was like faulty one or if it was just like me but when i started doing them in the afternoon excuse me i just had lunch <laughs> when i started doing them in the afternoon this time around i got a flashy face in the afternoon of one morning when i got a blank face so whether i just that's because yeah that's when my levels were changing and that's why i missed it last time i don't know so yeah we shall see um i found that last month i was very obsessive with symptoms and obviously i was like the first week i was like convinced i was pregnant and clearly i wasn't so this month i've said to myself i'm not going to google every symptom i'm going to try and keep myself busy i think that first week of that two week period last month i was at home all week because ralph wasn't very well so i was in my thoughts the whole week i was obviously doing bits of work here and there but i was at home like i wasn't kept busy um apart from obviously i would like film in the morning and then i'd have that whole afternoon to myself and be in my thoughts and i was googling everything so i'm not going to do that this month i've also said to myself that i'm not going to take a really early test so when my period is due of course we're down in devon like we always seem to be not at home when this moment comes so i've said to myself i'm not allowed to take a test until the friday of which we go down to devon because i'd rather like i said i think i've said 
well I've said multiple times I would 100% rather see the negative test than just come on my period I feel like I'd be more disappointed that way um so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be really I'm gonna be trying and be really good I'm not gonna google any symptoms I'm not gonna be thinking oh I've got a twinge like because I felt like looking back now usually when you get your period you probably don't acknowledge that you're getting these twinges and you probably do get them you just don't acknowledge it because you're not looking for it and i feel like in this two week wait you're looking for any sign that you could be pregnant so that is my aim for this next two weeks is just to yeah get on with it not uh, google every single symptom and thing that i've got because I was feeling so nauseous every morning that I woke up, like physically sick until I ate something. And I've never had that. So I was like, mm, maybe I am pregnant, but I wasn't. So clearly, that's my almond croissant in the um, oven. Alexa, off. Um, do you know what I mean? So like for me, I was like convinced I'm pregnant that's never happened to me before, but I wasn't. So it was probably potentially all in my head that I was thinking this and I was potentially making myself feel nauseous because i expected to feel nauseous i don't know the body's a crazy thing so anyway that's my update we're on month two so again obviously really know already know that this is super early for us still i just really wanted to document document the whole journey um because i know what from like my age it says like wait until a year before you like seek any like doctors or anything like that so i know it can take time um oh one thing the day that i came on my period two people on my instagram announced they were pregnant <laughs> so that was like a little bit of a kick in the teeth as well but it is what it is i was obviously so happy for them um and they might have been trying a lot longer than what we had been trying as well do you know what i mean so yes it's all good i just wanted to have a little update yeah so it's currently feb the 22nd um and yeah i will i don't think i'm gonna do an update now until i've done another test because i'll be analyzing it way too much um and also i'm not gonna buy any tests i think i've got like one left over from last month that's my update i hope you guys are doing well and yeah fingers and toes crossed for this month i think i did also want to mention is that i have also been having a fertility smoothie um for the last couple of weeks um and i wanted to show you what that is um so basically i was doing some research because my sister said about she was have when she um conceived she was having a fertility smoothie as well so some things that they say is really good to have in like a smoothie is wheatgrass powder maca powder so this one is also good for men fertility as well um so sometimes when i've had it like jamie's had a little bit as well and then also flaxseed oh, flax seeds um and like things like like greens spinach avocado all things like that so i've been having all three of those powders like a teaspoon tablespoon of each with almond milk um i'm just making a cup of tea um almond milk what else am i having in there um frozen strawberries and bananas and is that it i think that's it so yeah, that's another thing that I wanted to say. So yeah, they say that the wheatgrass powder, the maca powder and the flaxseed is like, well, they were, all of those were in quite a few different um, fertility smoothie recipes that I saw, but I thought that the maca powder was quite good because it said that is good for both male and female fertility. So that is another thing that I've been having for breakfast every morning and it actually tastes really good um and also the wheatgrass powder one tablespoon of that is equivalent to um like 200 grams of kale so i mean it's good for me at the end of the day so gotta try it um but yeah that was just another thing that i have changed this month that i haven't that i wasn't doing the first month um so yeah i've actually just made myself a little almond croissant and a cup of tea to have before i start editing hi guys i was not expecting to be making this clip this morning but today is friday wednesday and thursday i had this massive urge to take a present pregnancy test and 
I, there was, everything in me was stopping me taking it because I was like, it's too early. I would have been eight and nine days post ovulation. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not putting myself through that again. I'm not doing it. So I didn't take one Wednesday. And then last night I had some of these arrive. The easy home pregnancy test. So I've sort of seen quite a lot of people take these on TikTok and I was like, actually, I'm going to buy a pack because they're a lot they're eight pound for a pack there's 25 tests and obviously like the clear blue test and the first response test is so expensive and i was getting through them after that last time i spent a fortune so i decided to do one last night at about half eight um just before we like got into love island to went um to just before we got into love just before we were watching love island and getting into bed and Honestly, I did not expect this at all. Like, I have not really had any symptoms or anything, and I was shocked. I don't know if this is gonna focus. Can you see? There's a faint line. <laughs> I am pregnant, honestly. Wow, so I did that last night, and I, yeah, because it was like, um, it was like dark, it was, yeah, the evening, and I was like, so I did that, and I was like, I, I couldn't believe it was true. Um, I just got on with me even like normal, I was like, am I pregnant, am I not? Like, I was, I've never taken those before, so I was like, does two lines mean pregnant? Like, oh, and then I was kind of like getting confused with an ovulation test, obviously, when it's a light. It's like a negative ovulation test when it's a light thing, so I was getting really confused, I had no idea. So I went to bed, I could not sleep all night honestly i think i've had about an hour sleep and in that hour i dreamt about taking pregnancy tests as well um so this morning it was like 5 a.m i was like i just need to go and do one so i came to the toilet and do one and bearing in mind we live in an apartment so jamie obviously knew that i went to the toilet and i was trying not to like make too much noise but obviously i did and i was obviously waiting in the toilet i was like i can't i need to know now like i cannot um I cannot go another two hours and try and get some sleep before we wake up. So I did a two more. I did a clear blue um, digital and a clear boo thingy. And I don't know if that's gonna focus. That was a lie. <laughs> Honestly. I am just still in shock, like I'm so shocked and then I did a digital and it says pregnant one to two weeks so I think that means I'm like three weeks <sighs> pregnant currently honestly I am just like so happy and I just cannot believe it like I did not think I was pregnant like I honestly did not think I was pregnant right now and it even like shocks me saying that like it's not sunk in I think it will sink in when I tell Jamie um but he's gone to work I'm going to London this afternoon staying in London overnight so I'm not seeing him till tomorrow morning so it's actually easier not saying anything not seeing him um but like this week's just been weird like my tiktok for you page was just constantly people taking pregnancy tests like every single one like it was mad um and jamie said to me i think it was wednesday night he was like oh i'm just so excited he was like when are you gonna take a test and i was like oh like not um not for a few days but like yeah don't try not to get too excited like i just i was like i just don't know i just don't feel like anything and i am um, <gasps> Honestly, it's just not something that does not feel real. Obviously, it's really, really early and I'm just freaking out and I needed to talk about it and the only people I can talk about it is to my camera and to you. I am just so, so, so happy. Like this, I can see how, like, don't get me wrong, I feel so lucky, so, 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 so lucky that we have fallen pregnant on our second month of trying. Um, but I honestly didn't think it was going to happen. I had like got into my head that I had a hormone imbalance. Um, then the other night I was Googling endometriosis, like, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it is so mentally difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm just so grateful. 
like honestly so grateful like i said it's still not sunk in i don't know when we're going to tell everybody we're going down to well jamie's going down to devon tonight and i'm going down tomorrow and it's like jamie's dad's birthday meal tomorrow so i feel like that would be so nice but i don't know it's obviously early but i feel like i'm i don't want to not tell people like i want to experience everything with everyone and yeah positivity here i'm not putting into the universe that anything bad's going to happen because it's not it's going to be fine um <laughs> honestly i can't think about it too much because i'll cry and look how bad my this is how much i did not sleep last night look how bad my eye bags are i just can't cope so my plan is that like and also like part of me is like worried like are these lying like do these lie like i'm actually quite scared like do they can you get a false positive like i'm kind of freaking out but my plan was so jamie's gonna pick me up from the station um saturday like afternoon when i get the train down so my plan was to i've got these louis vuitton boxes from um my planner actually i'll do it in that one so my plan was to put the tests in here i'm gonna tell him when i get in the car because i don't obviously want to do it at his parents house so it'll have to be in the car but i just know that i just can't like it was so hard this morning he was even asking me he was oh did you take a test this morning and i was like yeah i just did these easy at home ones but like i think it's still too early like it didn't really it didn't say anything oh, god um so yes I'm, i need to tell him straight away because i i can't keep any i'm not good at keeping secrets and i can't keep anything from from him either especially when it's like this so my diary inserts came in this i thought this could be um how i tell him and i'll he'll just think that i've got him a really nice present from louis vuitton but i've got him an even better present I did put it in this big one but that's too big and i'm not going to carry that around london so that one would actually be perfect so oh, i don't think i've shown you what um what i got so i literally got this back in december like in preparation which was actually really really hard i don't know i would maybe think next like next time if we try i don't think i would do this because it was quite a lot of pressure i felt on me um so jamie's favorite trainers that he wears all the time are the travis scott um jordans in mocha so i got made um these little knitted booties so i'm gonna pop those oh i don't know if this is gonna be big enough pop those in there and then i also got from h&m a little love daddy baby cream oh my god this just does not feel real like i did not think that i would be doing this now like i'm honestly just in total shock you would open it and it's got like the little boots and the pregnancy test oh my god that's so cute oh my god i'm so excited to tell him honestly he has been so excited this is obviously really really super early and i'm just really really excited to be sharing this journey with you um i'm heading into london today like i said so yeah i need to go and get ready but the next time i will be talking to you is when i tell jamie oh my god that just that is what just makes me feel emotional i think because i'm like the only one that knows now it just doesn't feel real i just suddenly thought this is gonna be a last time because i've just spoken so much i can download the pregnancy app <laughs> oh my god this makes me so excited okay i'm in the car he knows he's got a present but he doesn't know what it is yet i'm ready <laughs> You wanted it? I'm a bit scared. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know. Because I feel like it would come in a bag or something. Oh no, I had to chuck the bag. Oh. I couldn't fit it in my thing. Ready? Yep. <laughs> I feel like it needs. No way. <gasps> Shut up! <laughs> really? Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Is it? Uh -huh. <laughs>
I did a little question box on Instagram um, and I basically said I would go into more detail um, if you guys were interested on my video that was going to go live and you guys were so I thought I would go through some of them now obviously a lot of the um, TTC kind of questions will be answered in this video anyway because I did film my whole journey but I will um, yeah just basically go through them hopefully it doesn't make me feel a bit queasy reliving the symptoms but let's have a little look first question i'm going to start with the newest ones because then i wouldn't have answered these on instagram basically and then we'll go back down so when did you first first notice a baby bump like quite quickly i think you i think someone else mentioned this you do gain quite a lot but like i felt like i've put on weight in other areas like my arms and like my back um and different things like that so i just feel like in general i felt like i had put on weight quite quickly um and then yeah really low down i started to notice it probably like 10 to 12 weeks when it was really hard to do up like zip trousers and be comfortable in those someone said congratulations thank you can you share what you eat while being pregnant and yes i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do um probably more so over on tiktok i thought i would do like what i eat in the days and i'll also include them in like vlogs that i do as well um but yeah i'll definitely be sharing what i eat um but what i ate basically i don't luckily i had no food i've not had no food aversions or anything so far which i think is pretty lucky um in terms of like cravings i've craved both salt and sweetie i've craved really like fruit fresh fruit a lot and then i've also craved like garlic bread and salty chips so yeah i feel like i've still eaten pretty well the one thing that i would say is that when i was really really nauseous i just had to snack all the time um giant mini cheddars were like my savior those like crackers they were great when i was feeling nauseous and why do you get so out of breath when I'm just literally talking? Um, one thing I did notice is one day like I'd really crave something and then the next day like that would make me feel sick. So it was really difficult. I had so much food in my cupboard. She was like, why do you keep getting more? And I'm like, because I crave something different every single day. And like I would see someone eat something on like Instagram or TikTok and I was like, I need that right now. Um, so it was just little things like that. So like kind of like my diet at the moment has been kind of a little bit all over the place. But now the nausea is getting better. I'm still sick in the morning but um yeah i'm kind of just slowly getting back to like my normal kind of like healthy eating um which is good what are your first symptoms before testing um so i think i've probably touched on this a bit before but i'll just go over it again just in case i haven't but i think mine was really really bad back um which i do get Sorry, I'm just going to sit back because it actually really hurts my back just sitting up like that. Um, I do get a really bad back when I'm during my period as well. But I would say, yeah, really, really bad back. And then I had really, really mild cramps, but constant. So one thing that I found difficult in the first month was being able to, obviously, it's really hard to different, differentiate if you're having period symptoms or it's because you're pregnant. And one thing that I saw someone say, which is so true is if you're, if you're gonna come on your period um, and it's not worked that month or has not happened that month, you will get period-like symptoms, say like a week before your period, which is normal, they will go and then they will come back. If you're pregnant, you'll get that those symptoms and they will continue until you're due on your period. And that was so true. I noticed that definitely in the month when I didn't conceive, I noticed that I had a really bad back. I was getting all these different symptoms and I was like, oh, could I be pregnant? Like, has that happened already? And then I came on my period, but those symptoms went and then came back like a day before my period was due. On the time when we conceived, I had all of those symptoms at the same time. So I was like, oh, it's not worked again. Like, blah, blah. But they didn't go. They just stayed the whole time until I was due on my period, but I'd already done a test a couple of days before that. 
um and i found that actually information really useful because i think it is really it is such a big mind game when you're like am i coming on my period am i not and that was like the one piece of information that i found that really helped was the fact that knowing that if you're pregnant they're likely going to stay the whole time rather than go and then come back um did you check your ovulation and know when to try or did you just try it all the time or certain times um again i've touched on this but yes we tracked i was basically tracking for probably about four months i think before we actually started i haven't been on con contraception for god must be like six years now um so yeah i'd always always use the flow app to kind of track that but i didn't physically start taking the test like doing the ovulation actual tests until like four months before um one thing that i would say with that is definitely do them when you're trying do them morning and night because my mind i didn't do that beforehand i just would do them every morning but mine actually changed on the time that we conceived i was a flashy face in the morning and a solid smiley face in the evening so i would just recommend doing in the morning and in the um like afternoon or evening as well i used both the um easy at home strips and the clear blue ones i really liked the easy at home ones because obviously you could see how dark the line was getting whereas obviously once you've got the smiley face you can't obviously test again on the clear blue ones so yeah i would recommend getting both did you get the little booties from um and you'd have seen those in this video i got them from it was a place on etsy but i'll leave it down below um it's in france i didn't pay any customs or anything and i think it was like 10 days to make so really really good um, so someone said how did your first trimester go now i didn't really get any symptoms up until about eight weeks and it's funny because the fact that i didn't get any symptoms i was like i want to have symptoms i want to know that i'm pregnant and then as soon as those symptoms came oh did i wish i was going to be that person that didn't have symptoms my mum actually had no like symptoms at all to, for either pregnancies for me and my brother so i was like oh please maybe i'm just going to take her away. but no it's been completely different um so between eight and 12 weeks i cannot explain to you the exhaustion i have literally never felt anything like it i would literally try and do some work on my laptop and my eyes were just like shutting after like two seconds i just couldn't concentrate on anything i couldn't do anything and i just had to listen to my body and literally all i pretty much did is sat on the sofa um try to do bits of work and i didn't wear makeup for weeks um i was just absolutely exhausted and at this time was when i was feeling nauseous all throughout the day but i've noticed that when I'm tired and my nausea is worse. So that's when I was like, right, I need to listen to my body. I need to recover. We had just got back from Paris because I was like seven, yeah, I would have been seven weeks when we were in Paris. I get confused because I always think I was six, I always think I was six weeks in Paris. But when I had my scan, we did an early scan at eight week, um, sorry, an early scan after Paris, they put me a week ahead. Um, so yeah, I was seven weeks in Paris when I thought I was six. Um, and we did like 20,000 steps a day. So I think that probably didn't help my exhaustion um, because yeah, that's when it all started and I was like, whoa, I literally felt like I'd been hit by an actual bus. It was just awful. And like the nausea, I would constantly snack all day because I just couldn't get any relief from it. Um, and then at eight weeks was when I started like gagging and retching in the morning. I still have that now and I'm on 16 weeks. So I've had that for eight weeks every single morning. And it's kind of just become part of my morning routine. It's not nice. I would like it to stop soon. So hopefully, fingers crossed. I say people say they just wake up one morning and it's gone. So yeah, I'm really, really hoping <laughs> I won't get that for a long time. I did actually make some notes. So I'm just going to have a look. Okay, so even as early, so I've put here week five or six, I completely went off um, hot drinks. So like no tea, no nothing. I've not actually had, I think I've had one cup of tea and I didn't like it since like week five so that's 11 weeks without a cup of tea and i am like would never be able to start a day without a cup of tea in the morning so yeah that's so strange for me and then i also started to get really dry skin like my the skin on my legs was so dry really itchy my face was so dry and i've never had oily skin and my um dry skin in my life has always been oily so that was a really good symptom and then i found that really hard to manage because then i really didn't like makeup so i've had to change quite a lot of like my makeup products now um 
But another thing with my skin is I've not had a single breakout, which I'm so thankful for. I know that you, it can either go either way. Um, I've literally just had a couple of like little spots and they've literally gone the next day. I would wake up at one o'clock every evening, well, morning, one o'clock in the morning with the worst stomach pain to go to the toilet. But I needed to go to the toilet, but it was like the cramps were like I literally was about to have diarrhea, but I didn't basically. And that would happen at that like from week seven to about week eight, I've got here that would happen like most nights. So I found that really, really odd. And it was always at 1 a.m. Every time I went to the toilet, I'd look at the clock on the toilet and it was 1 a.m., which I just found really, really odd. Um, and I've obviously put exhausted. And then week eight obviously was the same. Week nine was the same. And then week 11 to 12, I've put morning sickness down every morning, um, only nausea when hungry, and then I was really, 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 really thirsty on that week. Um, and I did read somewhere that it's apparently the more blood that you create, the more thirsty you get, and I was so thirsty that week. Um, and then kind of weeks 12 to now, um, I'm pretty much not nowhere near as tired anymore. When I was exhausted, I was literally having to go to bed at half seven, whereas like now I'm like my normal, like 10, half 10. I do obviously have, do active things and I'm out for the day and I do, I'm really tired then, but like it's, it's nothing like the feeling that it was before. Um, I'm trying to think, and oh, a really cold feet. Like my feet have been icicles. Um, which is another weird symptom. Have you bought anything yet for the baby? And I actually hadn't when I'd done this Instagram poll, but I have now and I have filmed the haul, so I'll pop that in after this clip. So my mum came up um, for a couple of nights and she was like, I really wanna go baby shopping. Me and Jamie actually haven't gone baby shopping yet. We kind of waited to want, want to find out to the gender, but my mum doesn't come up that often. Um, or we don't usually get to go to the shops that often together. So yeah, we went, Jamie was actually away. He's away now, he's back tomorrow. So yeah, we went shopping and it was really, really lovely. It was so nice. We got some really good like neutral bits because obviously still don't know the gender yet. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited to show these bits for you and I'm gonna be trying to be really good. I really don't wanna buy too much because I know that a lot of it just won't get used. So yeah, I wanna be really practical. And I saw somewhere it said something like 10 sleep suits, 10 vests, um, three cardigans and something else per size so i think i'd probably like stick to it around that um how did you tell jamie you're pregnant obviously you would have seen that at the start of this video um a lot of these are all the same are you finding out baby's gender yes we actually find out <gasps> a week tomorrow so with this saturday today not a week tomorrow a week today because next thursday we are this is going up tomorrow so it'll be about the same timings for you next thursday we've got the scan and then we'll find out the gender on the saturday we're going to do a canon on the saturday just me and jamie um so god knows how we're not gonna open the envelope or <laughs> have a little peek for two days we might even to be fair if it's a nice weather we could even go and do the canon straight away um that first evening but we'll see how we feel um and yeah that's majority i think i've covered most of them a lot of people ask the same question just in different ways so yeah i think most of those are covered um so yeah i'm gonna do um cut into the little haul that i filmed yesterday for you guys um but yeah, I'm so excited to share this journey with you. We are so happy. It feels so for real. I just feel so, so grateful and lucky um, to be in this position. And yeah, I'm just super, super excited. I'm also like, I was thinking in the shower today, like I'm 16 weeks now and it's just gone so quick. I know people say the third trimester is like the slowest. Um, so yeah, but first trimester, that literally just flew by considering i was really poorly as well i just felt like it went so quickly so yeah i'm excited for thursday i'm excited to see their little face again and find out their gender and then i feel like it will feel even more real then but i've just noticed i've literally chatted for about 17 minutes so yeah i'm gonna cut it off there and go into the hall okay so me and mum um went shopping yesterday um it was like my first 
well, I haven't actually bought, apart from like the little baby grey that I bought to... Hello. I'm just gonna quickly film this and we're done. Three shits. <laughs> So yeah, me and mum went shopping yesterday and which is super exciting. The first proper shopping spree that I've been on. Me and Jim haven't bought anything yet. We were going to wait to find out the gender, which we find out, well, we'll know a week. Well, we won't know what it is, but it'll be in an envelope this time next week and then we'll find out a week tomorrow, um, which is crazy. Um, so anyway, we went on a little bit of a neutral shopping spree. Mum was up for the weekends before. We cannot not go. Um, so I thought I would show you what we picked up. Um, first up in the White Company. So obviously I'm due in November, so I'm going to have a winter baby. I picked up the little pram suit, which I thought was super cute. I actually got this in zero to three months. They do do newborn, but they didn't have it in stock because we just got the zero to three months. Um, it's so cute. It has like the stars lining and then it's got the little ears and then what's good about this one it has a zip all the way down and then it also has poppers so really easy to change them and stuff if you need to but it's so soft and gorge um, and I thought I'd rather get zero to three than newborn because I thought potentially they can just wear it a bit big to begin with can they I'm not too sure but yeah really really love that and then also from the white company I did find there wasn't very much like gender neutral like plain things in the white company it was either very much boy or girl um so i didn't get any clothes from there but we also got a hooded bath towel this is also so soft i got it in the li large size because i thought just wrap them up in it um and then it will last longer rather than getting the small i've not said the prices of these things but i did have 15 percent off i had a thing come through the post which was a fab um so that was oh it doesn't say um, I'm not sure how much this one was either. Yes, I got a pack of, okay, this is just a hat that I got when I announced to Jamie. It was in like a little cute set, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, but I just put it in the same bag, but I just got a pack of newborn white hats, with little basics. I oh, know, up to one month. But is it, um, I've got a newborn hat in, from Mama's Purpose, and it's the same size, so I'm pretty sure this is newborn. So yeah, there's four hats in there and then also from the nurse we got the short sleeve body suits i got those in newborn we couldn't get the long sleeve sleep suits they didn't have them in stock in store so i need to order those online um and i think oh and then the only other thing we got from mns was this adorable little newborn cardigan how cute and it's got little bunny ears on the top as well super super soft um and that was 12 pounds the bodysuits were 10 pounds and the hat was eight pounds and then from zara there's not really very much in the zara store there was only one thing really they have the they are in the southampton store they literally have the tiny tiniest newborn um sections we got these knitted um ones these say zero to three months but these literally are so big compared to the other things that i have in zero to sorry zero to one but they're like the same length as the things that I have in zero to three so I think these will be in like the three month pile along with this which is one to three months which is a cute little jumper which I thought was adorable um and then from mums and papas um we got the cutest things we got this little ribbed um bodysuit this one is in up to one month and then we got the matching leggings to go with that which i think that's such a cute little outfit i then had been wanting this for ages but i hadn't every time i'd gone in there they only had the jumper and the leggings and they had one hidden behind all of them the tiniest little newborn um sleep suit with little it's like a velour material with little clouds on it and then it comes with the little matching hat so yeah, yeah, this one was newborn, so this one goes up to seven pounds. So I've literally thought that was adorable. And then the last thing we got from Mamas and Papas was another newborn sleep suit. Um, this one has a zip all the way down, which is really good. The only thing about this one, it doesn't have um, the built-in mittens, but that's okay. I just thought that was a really nice 
one and super super soft as well so this is what i put in my little like surprise box to jamie it says love daddy and then it came with little leggings and a hat so that's really really cute i think that was in up to one month and then i also got yesterday these most adorable um pack of leggings these are zero to one month which i absolutely love and they only had excuse me they only had this size in store look how tiny they are um so i then went and picked up ordered yesterday and they literally came this morning two to four months because i've decided i'm only buying up to four months at the moment i'm not buying any way more past there so yeah i love them so much that i thought i'm gonna get them in a bigger size and then i also got oh this was another thing from zara a little waffle textured outfit i think it came with leggings as well oh yeah there we go and that's one to three months and then i also got the matching body suits to go with the leggings which are literally just adorable these are like my favorite things ever so i've got those in zero to one month and then again ordered another two to four months in the body suits and then i also got the matching hats in two to four months so i've got enough newborn hats now so i've got a couple of those and they match the set and then lastly i just thought i'd show you this this is what my sister got me from Isla and fraser which is just stunning and this one was in zero to three months as well i think that was everything so that's our, my first little baby haul obviously we don't know the gender yet we'll find that out next week and then i'll obviously be able to share that with you guys um but yeah that was everything that i picked up so far <laughs>